files in any specific folder with simple VBA code. So here in this example, what I'll do, I'll put here in C2 cell folder path with folder name. So let me show you on my desktop. I have one folder named testing. When I right click on this folder and select properties, then first tab is general where I can copy the location. And then I will paste this location here in this cell C2 one slash and then folder name. We know that folder name is testing. So now we can say that cell C2 has folder path with folder name. Now I'll click on this command button. Once I click on this command button, we can see message with seven when I press OK. Then we can see that C5. Let me highlight this cell with yellow color has number as seven. So we can say that total files in the specific folder are seven. So let's check. Let me double click on this testing folder. So we have total seven files. However, out of seven, three files are of Excel type and four files are notepad or text files. So let me show you what is the VBA code that I have used here. I'll go to developer tab click on design mode and then I will double click on this command button. So this is the simple VBA code that I have used to count all files in a specific folder. So let me explain this VBA code first. I am declaring one variable of a string type folder path and then another variable of a string type str type and then total files another variable of variant type and then folder path this variable I am assigning C2 cell which has the folder path and folder name worksheets within brackets sheet name dot cells C2 that means row number 2 column number 3 dot value so whatever path and folder name we will keep in this C2 cell it will be assigned to this folder path variable. Now, if then write function folder path comma one, that means last digit of folder path and file name. If it is not equal to slash, then what I'm adding, I'm adding slash into it. And then total files, another variable equal to we have dir function where we are specifying folder path and or m percent sign and then str type str type right now does not have any value and then dim i as integer while loop while total files not equal to double commas that means blank what should happen i equal to i plus one and total files equal to dir function again and then closing statement for this while when and finally displaying message where total files we can see through message and then I am printing total number of files in c5 that means row number 5 column c and then selecting the same cell. So this is the simple VBA code we can use. Now let's say I want to count only Excel files in that specific folder. 
so i will show you here just one more line i'll add here this variable of str type right now this variable does not have any value so i will make use of this variable str type equal to my objective is to count only excel files so within inverted comma and within star sign what i can do is dot xls so this is the extension of excel files so once i have mentioned here a string type now i can go to excel sheet click on design mode once i click here then what i can see is only three is getting published with message box and in c5 cell and we already know that this testing folder has only three excel files now let's say i want to count only text files now i don't need to tell you it is just that we should know the extension we can go and change this type variable as dot txt which is the extension for notepad now if i click this command button it will show four and total files as four so by doing a small change we can count any specific types of files in any specific folder so i'm hoping this vb example is helpful we can use this for different automation projects with some changes into it according to the need of task if you have any question around this topic you can write into comments or you can send me email and please subscribe to my channel for more vba tutorials thank you